She survived the Taliban regime in the early 90s and mid 90s. Now an Afghan woman is here in Rochester studying to improve not only her future, but that of her country's as well. She shared her amazing story with me today at RIT and I warn you everybody, some of what you're about to hear may be considered graphic in nature. In her lifetime, Afghanistan native Shukriya Amani has seen more pain and cruelty than most of her fellow students at RIT will ever know. When you walk it on the street, you, you could see hanging hands, hanging feet, even hanging people. The 51-year-old says under Taliban rule, many feared for their lives in Afghanistan, especially women. They used to beat a woman two, three, four times and that's why you did so. And then the women were, were to beg them. You know, they had to. Amani says her own sister was beaten at the public market because her ankles were visible through her stockings. She took her hand like this because she didn't want her head to be hurted. Amadi says she was never beaten, though she could have been, and perhaps worse, for secretly teaching accounting to women at her home. Unable to do so at Kabul University, as she did before the Taliban. I didn't want to stay home. I thought, I'm educated. Why I, I don't use my education? Amani made her first visit to the U.S. in 2002 after American forces toppled Taliban rule. She instantly wanted to stay. I saw the uh, cleanness and everything here, and I was just loved this. But she returned to Afghanistan to care for her mother, who has since passed away. Now, Amani is completing her MBA at RIT and hopes to stay in the U.S. this time. Sometimes I think maybe from, from outside, I can uh, better help my people. And she is slated to finish her MBA in August. She needs to find work, though, so that right. she can stay here, of course. She know. has so much to offer. Mm -hmm. More American troops yes. planning to go to Afghanistan, yeah. ramping up the effort there. What does yeah. she think about all of that? Well, we talked about that today because she said back in 2002 when she first visited the stage, she actually met with President Bush. She spoke to him about the troops that were there then. She said, please keep them here in Afghanistan, please allow them to make my country better. She says now in retrospect, she actually regrets that statement mm. because she says since troops from not just the U.S., but other soldiers from other places have been there for so long, it just has uh, crumbled the culture, according mm. to her. And so it was. it's not the Afghanistan that it was of her childhood. Mm. So she says now, you know, there's nothing really to go back to for her. Very sad. It's yeah. been a country at war for decades, generations. Years, yes. Yeah. We'll be right back.